Once you have clocked in, you're ready to begin processing orders or processing tables for your customers. Orders are processed through the restaurant sales module. When you enter the restaurant sales module, you'll, you'll first be prompted to log in. You can log in by entering your employee number using the server login touchscreen or by swiping your employee card at this point in time. Once you've logged in, you'll see a list of current tables that you have opened or that you have created. You can create new tables by selecting Quick Sale or by selecting New Table. When you select New Table, you'll be given the opportunity to select one of your predefined table numbers. Uh, if you select Quick Sale, table numbers are genera generated beginning with table number 900 uh, and you're not required to specify exactly where they are in your restaurant. If you have currently more tables than will appear on the screen, you can use Page Up and Page Down to navigate through your tables as you select a table that you want to work with. Let's create a new table at this point by selecting New Table. You'll be presented with a list of the different table areas that are available in your restaurant and for each table area the specific tables that are assigned to that area. You can select a new table by simply pressing the button that you want to create the order on. Depending on the way that your restaurant has configured their software, you may or may not be prompt with an option to specify if this is a dine-in or a dine-out ticket, as well as the number of guests that will be sitting at that table. You also have the option, depending on the configuration of your system, to specify a name for the table. The name can be entered using the keyboard, or any time that you see the KB button, you can summon the on-screen keyboard and enter a name using the on-screen keyboard. <coughs> At this point the ticket has been created. You can see that the current total for this ticket is zero dollars. Looking at the menu, you'll notice that the menu is divided into 14 different areas. Uh, if some areas are not used, they can simply be left blank. And each menu area has specific items that have been assigned to the menu in that area. You can add items to, to the ticket by simply pressing the appropriate button. If the item that you select includes an option for modifiers or side lists, you'll be presented with a list of side lists or modifiers that are available so that you can make those selections. You'll notice that these lists are available. Lists that are grayed out are not available for this particular item. You simply select a modifier list, select those options which are applicable. Multiple options can be selected in some cases. When you're finished, you can select item complete. If you have pressed this button in error, you can select remove item and the item will not be added to the ticket. Once you have entered all of the items that need to be entered for this order, you can send the item to the cook. You send the item to the cooks or have it print on the kitchen printers by selecting the send to cook button. This will cause cooks tickets to be printed at whatever printers are relevant to the items that have been placed on the order. You can also print a customer ticket by selecting print ticket which will print a receipt that you can give to your customer showing the total of their ticket.